Ja, willkommen zurück bei einer neuen Folge The Walking Dead. Wir haben uns ja in den letzten Folgen Ärger auf der Farm eingehandelt. Wir haben uns Ärger in der Drogerie eingehandelt und versuchen das Ganze jetzt wieder in den Griff zu bekommen. Kommen heute werden wir wahrscheinlich noch feststellen, dass unsere Eltern tot sind und wo und wie sie gestorben sind. Ähm, bevor wir jetzt aber durch die Tür ins Büro weitergehen, gehen wir erstmal noch einen Schritt zurück, weil gestern haben wir nämlich die zweite Batterie liegen lassen. Und wir wollen ja mal schauen, ob wir im Radio was hören können. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. noch mal raus und tun die einmal richtig rum. Lautstärke würde vielleicht auch... Ups, war schon auch laut. So. Und wir machen einen neuen Versuch. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Auch keine sehr rosigen Neuigkeiten, die wir hier im Radio hören. Hey, Connie. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably there. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, leave. Just leave me alone. Jo, da haben wir uns ja wieder mal kräftig in die Nesseln gesetzt. Das hat er drauf, der gute Lee. Und jetzt schauen wir uns aber wirklich mal das Büro an. came in here hoping to survive. It's like one of the most hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, baby. A protector, at least. There's a photo over there.
Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Ja, jetzt wissen wir also, warum wir am Anfang in dem Polizeiauto saßen. Wir haben also den Liebhaber unserer Frau umgebracht. Und der Laden hier gehörte tatsächlich unseren Eltern. Und gemäß dem Bild gibt es irgendwo auch noch einen Bruder, der aber wahrscheinlich, so wie es hier aussieht, auch nicht mehr allzu lebendig sein dürfte. was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. to clear a path to opening that door. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you OK? 
okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Da hatten wir doch irgendwo einen Verbandskasten. There's a bandaid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Mm -hmm. Lee? I asked you a question. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? How are we doing over there? Okay, it still hurts. Na dann schauen wir uns das Ganze doch mal an. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. I was scared. Yeah. I was far away. That lady saved me. I'm glad she did. Maybe stay closer next time, so you're not so far away. I'm gonna try. Good. How's your face? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Vermutlich werden wir nicht mehr viel sehen, nachdem das Radio auch tot war. That's what I figured. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Drin haben wir glaube ich alles durch. Dann gucken wir mal weiter, wo die Schlüssel sein könnten. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you?
sollten vielleicht doch mal mit. Hey there. This is Glenn and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Ja, so wie es ausschaut, wartet schon der nächste Ärger auf uns. Trotzdem werden wir jetzt erstmal noch vor die Tür schauen, wie es draußen aussieht. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all the care. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I can't reach that brick. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him or us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. It could be anybody, you know. If they start rotting and it'll chew up and. Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Somehow prove that he worked here. I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Na, ich denke mal, den Beweis dafür haben wir in der Hosentasche. That guy over there has the keys. How 
can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Ja, wahrscheinlich ist gerade die spannendste Sendung, die da läuft. Aber es scheint zu funktionieren. like TV or at least the sound of it if they were louder we might be able to clear the street do you think we're safe here well I haven't been able to get through this gate so far and the drugstore is safe enough I think Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Wir sollten also die Scheibe einwerfen und wir hätten dafür einen Ziegelstein. Let's head back inside. Okay. Aber es sieht so aus, als sollten wir uns vielleicht erst um das zweite Problem kümmern. outside all right oder wir schauen mal ob wir den stock nehmen können vielleicht kommen wir damit gut die anweisung ist recht eindeutig aber wir probieren es trotzdem Den Stock können wir nicht anwählen. Hey 
stay there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. Ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Suchen wir noch mal, dass wir da drüber kommen. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. So wir jetzt hier beginnen mit dem Kissen da drücken. I got one pillow and two corpses. An age old problem. Irgendwas habe ich hier übersehen. Versuchen wir es halt mal andersrum. What 
What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Hierhin hat es ja schon mal ganz gut funktioniert. Ja, da hätten wir doch schon mal Nummer zwei. Na, wirklich leise wir das jetzt aber auch nicht. Aber es scheint funktionieren. Scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dann probieren wir doch noch mal den Weg andersrum. Die Frage ist, was machen wir mit dem in der Mitte? wieder einer weniger. Das hat ja schon mal ganz gut funktioniert. Und noch einer hier ums Eck. Das war jetzt nicht so toll. Aber im zweiten Versuch. Where'd your weapon go? Into an ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? The ox name on the mid. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind? 
just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. schon mal ganz gut funktioniert. Dann schauen wir mal. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Ja, was 
für eine erste schwierige Entscheidung. Zum ersten Mal mussten wir nicht auf Tote schießen, äh, sondern einer noch Lebenden bei ihrer letzten Entscheidung helfen. Ja, und ob wir jetzt die Pillen auch noch bekommen, das sehen wir dann in der nächsten Folge. Mich würde es freuen, wenn ihr wieder dabei seid. Bis dann und ciao.